Hi, Rodney here with TeakTestDrives.com. Welcome back to part three of our Apple iPhone 5 unboxing and review videos. Now, in this video, part three, I'll turn it on for the first time and we'll have a quick play around with the operating system. Uh, if you missed the initial unboxing, there are links uh, down below, um, which is part one. And in part two, also the link is down below. We had a quick look over the hardware itself up close, and also I ran through some of the specifications. So I'll just go ahead and turn it on. Power button's on the top here. I'll just hold that down. So we're greeted there with the Apple logo. Depending on how long this takes, I may skip ahead in the video, but I'll let you know how long it took. So that took about um, 30 or 40 seconds uh, from the Apple logo to the screen here. So no doubt it will ask me to set up the device. No SIM card, I haven't put my SIM card in yet. English, yes. Scroll through to New Zealand. Oops, there we go. Now I will enter our Wi Fi details. Okay, now for me to uh, go into the system, um, I had to insert um, a SIM card for the phone to activate. So all I did was take out the SIM eject tool. Um, put in my uh, nano sim um, and as soon as it was inserted the phone activated using uh, my Wi-Fi network um, and I was greeted with the screen so it's just to enable location services I'll set this up as a new phone at the moment um, I won't sign in with my Apple ID just yet agree to the terms and conditions uh, I won't send Info to Apple, four ticks, start using the phone. So there we are, uh, iPhone 5 now up and running. This is the very familiar uh, home screen for iPhone users. Um, now there are rumors that the Retina display on this iPhone 5 uh, has sharper uh, colors and contrast than the previous generation iPhone 4 and 4S. Uh, everything else is very familiar. So I'll just jump in and have a look at the iOS number about. So you can see there that we are on version 6.0.1, which is the latest. Um, and I'm on Vodafone in New Zealand as my carrier. Now the speed at which this runs will be a little faster than the iPhone 4S. Uh, the 4S was, uh, had a A5 chip inside. This is featuring the new Apple A6 chip, um, and the previous 4S had 512 megabytes of uh, memory, whereas this features a full one gigabyte. So it will be slightly faster, um, and multitasking should be a lot more smoother. We'll jump into the camera here, have a quick look. Now, obviously it takes uh, still pictures, um, it also takes full HD uh, 1080p video, uh, which was the same as the previous 4S. However, you will find uh, with recording full 1080p HD video, um, the file size will be smaller due to some enhancements that Apple have made. So the video shooting is nice and fast as you would expect. You can just keep on going and switch over to video. So nice and simple, nothing's really changed there. Um, all of these are common, uh, you'll be familiar with all of these. Uh, now with the iPhone 3GS, 4 and 4S, those are all uh, able to upgrade to the latest um, Apple iOS 6 and 6.0.1, etc. Um, it's the iPhone 3G, uh, and the original iPhone 
that unfortunately can't update to that. I believe the iPhone 3G uh, is only able to be updated to iOS 4.2.1 officially. So everything else will be the same. The dial pad uh, with the upgrade to iOS 6, uh, it's a nice and clean display with large buttons. The calendar hasn't really changed that much at all over the years. It's still the same, functions easily, and nice and clean, easy to find your appointments and create new ones. Uh, and contacts will be the same and they will be under utilities here. Now along with the upgrade uh, to iOS 6, um, Apple introduced their own version of Maps. Um, some countries around the world experienced quite a few problems with the initial launch. Apple uh, got onto that straight away and started uh, correcting those problems. New Zealand, as far as I'm aware, didn't really have any major issues. Uh, if we use this it should zoom in approximately where we are. So we are in downtown Auckland Central. So this is just a quick overview on how the system runs. It runs exactly how I would expect. Um, nothing major here. Uh, that's in Fahrenheit. We don't use that here in New Zealand. Change to degrees Celsius. There we go. Um, so this is just a quick overview like I said. Um, I will put it through the test over the coming week um, and just give my final thoughts at a later date. If you missed the original unboxing, make sure you check out the link below um, and also the full hardware and specification overview. I'll leave that in the link below as well. I'm Rodney from techtestdrives.com.